Yeah, I'm just trying out this ice. Gosh. It, yeah, it takes a while. It's, even though it's supposed to be for cans, but I'm just trying something different. <laughs> It's this thing right in the middle, and then you keep keep cold that way. It'll take a while. So I'll just try something different. Yeah, I was just. It's good afternoon, folks, for my channel and. And see how long it lasts to get cooled down. With the ball like this and the icing right in the middle. This fits perfectly. And it's get it's getting cooler. For the last couple hours. So, so maybe I want to try it the next hour and see what I'll come up with. Good more, more Memorial Day weekend to you guys. And also good morning. I am here to film some trains out here. The weather around here is going to be hot. It's supposed to be in the 90s. So, so let's rock and roll. We're going to head to the BNSF line. This is going to be a three day vlog. Memorial Day and that's what I'm doing this weekend. It's also not a cloud in the sky. As mentioned, it's supposed to be in the mid-90s. Make sure you drink plenty of water. One out rail pan. I'm over there at the park. Filming trains out here. So, I'll get, have the first one coming. I'm going to try something different for this Memorial Day vlog. And I'm going to try a full length trains. So, Stay with me on that one. As you can hear the train coming from BNSF. So you can hear these birds. There's a squirrel on top of this tree. Hey, here, little Dale. Uh, he's hiding.
Yeah, with these uh, long, fully uh, trains, I can come. Uh, when I go through it, I'll look for the locomotives and I'll draw it down. And and I'll put it in through the video. So that's about what I would do with, with the other clips I had. And it'll go a lot quicker, I hope. But I'll, we'll see on a future vlog. See what the difference is. Waterball. Yeah, I put in some frozen ice and uh, actually frozen water ball to make cooler look cool. And then I also put in a bunch of ice in that big cup and then I put it in the cooler. And the ice is still cold. Man, look at all these flowers are right. This is in Mason City, Nebraska. I'm under the pine tree. Yeah, the eastbound train, uh, actually the westbound train, I was supposed to have back in Carroll. It was like, the story goes like this. I wanted to use the restroom, right, there was a restroom at that baseball park in Carroll. I wanted to use that. Nope, it's locked. Then I decided to come roaring over here and I got him in Mason City. Because he was going pretty good. The speed was really good on that. So unfortunately I have to use the restroom back at Carroll. At the at the pump at the gas station and then and then I race over here so that's the end of that story all right here we go there there's a grass fire that we fell uh, a little bit ago it's not today but maybe Why I'm driving a little slow. Click it and ticket promotion going on. He's also watching your speed, not just seat belts and a other driving that goes wrong. So be aware. This is Brad here. I'm going to call it quits for the day. I will see you guys tomorrow on the on the day two of the three day vlog. So have a good one. Bye bye for now. Oh, that didn't look good on this road right here.
I'll, I'll explain to this bump tomorrow on the vlog. So, so I guess you guys have a good night, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. Good morning, everybody. It's Brad here in the background. And I'm going to go film some Union Pacific trains. Out here, so I'm going to make a right hand turn. And I'm going to head west. So, so stay with me on that one. There's going to be a Union Pacific train I'm going to uh, start filming pretty soon. So I'm going to make a left hand turn. These uh, westbound Union Pacific trains are back and forth. So well, there was another Union Pacific train ahead of the double stack train. So I'll see what I can find. If not, then I'll come back to the double stack. Two trains coming. One behind me and one on the other side. So I'm going to get to it. Yeah, the, there's uh, three locomotives I'm bound to fall. It's going pretty slow. But I can't figure out how fast he's going. Given Junction, because it's getting busier. I am seeing like two westbound trains, and when I have to make a stop, 
there was an eastbound coming, so that's what happens. And it gets pretty busy. So he has a clear signal. Yesterday, I drove on a bump. I, I had the video for it because it was at an intersection. And that hot weather that we have here couldn't take that. So it made it worse. So they'll have to do some work on that. He's inspecting the tracks. tree is going to have to be replanted the way this is is as I mentioned it's going to have to be cut uh, timber and then it, and then it's going to have to be replanted because it lost half of its shade as you can see inside through the tree as you can see where all the wood piles are at that's why Yeah, look at all that debris. Equipment is on the side of the Union Pacific, right? Seen right here. I did a special report on that uh, from Given Junction is a uh, top 75 places got rail fanning and 
in my opinion, Gimme Junction should have been up there. And the triple track. UP's getting a lot of trains out of here. Even out. I, and today I've been, it, it, it's busy. It's been a busy place today. Despite a little uh, calm and the wind, I did a special report on that. So, here it is. Yeah, yeah, Trains Magazine is called America's Top Train Watching Locations. And there's one location that is not included. Is Given Junction. Now, why is Given Junction not included? And I'll give you the simple facts. Marysville sub goes on the Carney sub. And traffic from the Marysville sub do stop for Carney sub trains. As I'm going to flip through the pages, what they have not, I don't think they have ever been to Given Junction. <clears throat> yep, Chicago, and then there's, yep. let's see. Sand point. I would like to visit that area too. Bell Bear Mountain, New York. Yeah. As I look through everywhere during the pages. St. Paul, Minnesota. Roosevelt Road is Chicago. Bella, New Mexico. I would like to visit. But there are th three places. Yeah, there are three places that that are hot spots: Grand Island, Omaha. What they have forgot is Lincoln, Nebraska. The where the trains, westbound trains. Uh, before they head to the yard, they 
they drop out their crews and and the train goes to the yard and go for another crew. Then they had uh, Hastings. That's also a hot spot because you got Mary's old sub meeting the Hastings BNSS sub. And Given Junction is also a busy place too. And that's not all. The triple track on UP is busy as well. And the UP has been busy with UP, BNSF, been busy in Nebraska because of the Powder River Basin. Right here. I would love to visit down there. If they get rid of the coal mines, these will drop off really quick. It's not a good sight either. Yeah, ground is in this one. But what about North Platte, where they had the world's largest yard? But you don't want to go in their yard. And the triple track, and Hershey, and Old Fallons. That's also a busy spot. The triple track sees over 100 trains a day. So this is what's what it is. So don't forget Crawford Hill was in it too, and then you got the Powder River. And Uh, I'm surprised yeah, BNSF, actually Union Pacific's Cardi Sub, Give Injection North Platte, is it in this magazine? They should have been. But, hopefully they find out. So. So, tomorrow's Memorial Day, and I'm going to be heading to a Memorial Day service where, you, where it's respectful to um, respect the troops from anywhere, overseas. Junction shortly, so I'm gonna head east. I may not be done with trains yet. Right now, I just got gas and I'm heading east to home. He has a bad order of these cold cars.
right. I'm gonna turn the camera this way. That's what it is. It's taking these cult these wheels that are in bad order. They have to replace the wheels that are bad on the train with good wheels. And once they have good wheels, then they'll be rolling again. He's stopped his train right now. That's unfortunately for the state patrol.
But a lot of people are moving around. Now he's moving. He just Now he's moving right along, slowly. Well, here come the locomotives that are pushing these coal units there were 8973 and 6c7 no, oh, 6640. And the other one is 7296. It's on your right. Once these units go, then we'll leave. I'm going to end this uh, today's vlog for today, for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And you guys have a good one. Bye bye for now. Good morning.
morning everybody on this Memorial Day. I am going 20 miles up north. And we'll give you the closing at the cemetery. So stay tuned. So let's begin. Yeah, here it is. It's a uh, sunny with a few clouds. So we'll see another hot one. I will also show you the um, on this vlog before I go on the uh, bump and the closure of the road. I'm going to close this log out. There's going to be a clo road closure that I would not take this road until they open the road. Just to let you guys know, we'll show you the detour on the next log. you guys up here what the heat took out because here comes some rain It's going to be an emergency construction project. As you can see, with the barricades right there. That's the end of this vlog. I will ship. I will see you on the, my next vlog. And have a great week. Bye bye for now. Thanks for watching this video on YouTube. If you like the video on YouTube, give me a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel. And you can visit my blogs at any time. And my social media is included. And thanks for watching. I will see you on my next video. Bye for now.